happy to be leaving La Paz. Of course, there's a zillion things that you can do and maybe we're missing some things, but leaving this city feels like the complete end to my long illness that I had. La Paz has been such a beautiful city for us to visit with the cable car and views of this valley that all of these houses are situated on. It's just a really cool hole in the mountains. <laughs> So we're passing a couple of things that maybe other people would stop for and we're driving pretty far but um, we're just very excited to get to Chile. Not only that but we stayed so long in La Paz that we don't really have that much time left on our visas so yeah we have to move on. The salar should be really easy on as an exercise point of view. After that we're just heading to the border with Chile. I'm so excited. We lower elevation in Chile so we can actually use our heater. Oh, even though it looks very, very flat, we're still at almost 13,000 feet. And when it comes to the van, I'm so glad we don't have any engine codes. It's been a while. Ooh, it feels good traveling again. <laughs> so in Bolivia, it is really complicated for us to get gas. They have, they have subsidized gas, so it's very, very cheap for locals. And because of that, Chileans, Argentinians, Brazilians, and Peruvians were heading over to Bolivia to get some cheap gas. So they started putting uh, an extra tariff on international vehicles to get gas. Some places won't even let us get gas because they say our codes, our plate number is not in their system. Most places, honestly. Yeah, most places. It takes at least three tries to get gas. So this is the first country we've ever experienced this with. I think it happens other places, but yeah, it is kind of frightening. You never can let it get below a half a tank or you could be out of luck. Also, there are shortages as well. In the city, I got to a couple gas stations and they just said like, no, like we don't have gas. It's just crazy to me, you know? On a Monday, they don't have gas. And of course I waited too long. So last night, whenever we stopped to get gas, the per first gas station we went to said no international cars at all. And then the second one we went to said 870 per liter, $4 a gallon. That's and for locals, like $2 a gallon. So yeah, we would be paying double the prices of locals. The third place we went. First they said uh, they would give me that international rate. Right. And then I said, what about if we don't get a receipt? Basically paying with cash. It probably yeah. doesn't go to the government. It probably just goes straight to the gas right. station attendant. But at first he said 870. And then he said, I said without a receipt, and he said seven. seven or maybe he said eight. And I said, how about five? And he said, oh, let's do six. That came out to be 226 a gallon. It is exhausting having to even barter for gas, but <laughs> at least we got it done last night and at least we haven't done it too many times here. Yeah. The only other option that there is if you can't get gas is that they will fill any 10 liter refillable jerry can full of gas. So Danny has gotten one um, and you filled it once. Yeah, but I don't like it because then you gotta siphon it in. Yeah. You worry about that container uh, leaching plastic into the gas or something. Right, it's not very safe. It's not very much gas. No, it's like no gas. But you get the local price. Even that international price of eight seventy a liter, that's a lot cheaper than it is in the U.S. right now. So, yeah. You know, it's not too bad. Yeah. Sorry guys. Fortunately, it does look like we have a coolant leak again. So it must be that epoxy got so cold that it shriveled up a bit, but it looks really minor. So oof, maybe we'll just deal with it later. Might need to get a mechanic to pump out the coolant again. Um, I think we have a gallon and a quarter of coolant in the trunk or a gallon and a half. Remember though, another thing to fix for the van. The Salar is the biggest salt flats in the world. We went to one in the US, the Bonneville Salt Flats. That was pretty epic. You can get cool pictures with the perspective. That one is just tiny compared to the one here in Bolivia. Check out this satellite view map of South America. 
That is the Salar. It's enormous. Look, you can see that from space easily. 400 square miles. While planning to head over to the salt flats, we have to protect the bottom of the van because the salt will be very damaging. Luckily, the locals know and there are a bunch of different car places on iOverlander that will spray an oil-based product to protect it. You think we should just try a different place? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I'll help you just go back down straight back. Okay, we'll go find another. Wow, that was scary back there. That lady wanted us to just keep driving up. She didn't care about our car at all. She said, oh, just keep going. But we would have scraped the muffler something bad. I'm really glad I didn't listen to her when we left because this place looks way more professional. Check out these ramps compared to the last one. What's going on down there, Sombrita? <laughs> so that the salt doesn't get stuck up there. We got 20 liters of water and we got gasoline from a gas station, the first gas station we tried. And I think that's because the woman sees a lot of international drivers here. And I think that she makes a lot of money off the top of that. And tomorrow is a special day. Tomorrow is our four year anniversary together. Yes, yeah, so we've been nomads now for four years because we got rid of our apartment three days after our wedding, which was silly. Don't don't do it that. <laughs> Emily's been driving the whole time, a bit nervous, founded, <laughs> and you know we're staying on this hard pack track and we're coming right exactly where we were trying to go. This is the Dakar Monument, so that's like a huge rally race every year and for years it was in Africa but then they came to South America. When they came across this salt flat as part of the rally race, they made a huge monument made out of salt. It'd be cool to check it out, but honestly, the sun has already set. It's uh, 31 degrees already. And uh, we think we're gonna just try to get out there a ways and spend the night somewhere wild. So we're gonna have to keep going. We'll check it out tomorrow. Yeah, this is one of the salt hotels. So there's a ton of hotels built out of salt out here. Something I don't think you see anywhere else in the world, really. Yeah, it'd be nice just to be in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of our thing. <laughs> Into the face of danger. Here we go. You know, we got the oil on the bottom. We prepared quite well. I'm really seeing some holes out here, though. These holes are about a foot wide. Um, nothing huge, but apparently if you go super far, it becomes pretty wet. Tours will go, but a couple cars recently have fallen through a hole in the wet area. That's not like these holes, I don't think, so we're okay. But this is insane. Oh my gosh, Sombrita, just loving the view. From here on, there's basically nothing out here until you go an hour farther, an hour, 15 minutes, uh, 60 more kilometers. There's this island full of cacti that uh, seems like a cool spot, but I don't think we're gonna try to go that far until fate. You know, already there's nothing around except beautiful salt, and this is the experience. So why try to get a crazy amount of salt underneath? Maybe we'll look for some nice hard pack off to the side. So how far off to the side do you want to go? 500 meters? Or? Thinking in meters now, I like it. 500 yards? What's a yard? I'm not one to trust it when it comes to the van's life on the line. Looks like the dog's coming out too. Are you gonna go Sombrita? Sombrita. Oh wow, this is like, this is super hard pack. Like. Corre! Corre, corre, corre! 
Wow, you guys, this is one of the most beautiful things in the entire world. Being here for sunset, the night before our anniversary. <laughs> Let's drive off into the sunset. <laughs> I can't believe we made it here tonight. We got all of our chores done and now we're here able to enjoy the beautiful salt flats. So tomorrow we're gonna enjoy the salt flats a little bit more. We're gonna hang out here and maybe drive some more, take some cool pictures. I guess Amrita didn't get the memo that dogs don't like salt flats. <laughs> Happy anniversary, babe! Thank you so much for breakfast! Happy anniversary! Special meals all day. Big <laughs> semis with hash browns. Delish, babe. Cut from french fries. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know we live in a van. <laughs> and in today's search for a bathroom, we didn't have to go far. We came upon this salt hotel with a uh, the most expensive toilets in Bolivia, perhaps. <laughs> but uh, less than a dollar still. Check this place out. Everything is made out of salt, including Emily. Look. Oh, do the salt bay. Oh yeah, that's right. What <laughs> <laughs> the most effective way to salt? <laughs> Especially but, in my jacket. Yeah, like this table right here. This is salt bricks made out of salt. The wall made out of salt. The glass is not made out of salt. It's no longer a functional hotel. This is where a lot of tours come because the Dakar monuments right outside. The statues made of salt. Are they llamas, vacunas, or apacas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the armadillo. I didn't realize that they had hair. And here were the hotel rooms back in the day. But check out this crack in the bricks. Salt cock. This is the second sign that said that it was the first salt hotel <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Gosh, we were stuck for a half a second, but we're okay now. <laughs> but anyways, oh my gosh, we're just, that was weird. What is it doing? And we weren't stuck right there. Uh, it could have been just like sliding. That is wild. <laughs> what do you think, Celebrita? Oh, it is muy buena. All right, we're starting the pictures. Some Vita's excited to run around the salt flasses. Nothing around. Look at that. Van, Danny, nada. Just a couple of pictures on the salt flats turned out pretty cool. So now we got some props. <laughs> Let's try out some more stuff. And also, we have a special appearance from Grammy.
Man, that was super fun taking all those pictures. They might not be like 100% professional, but <laughs> it was it is kind of hard. But it's super fun to just try it out with you know together and like move this way, move this way. And you can just tell everybody else here is doing it. Even though everyone's super far away, we can see like just little toothpicks sticking up. So I'm gonna make us some pumpkin soup. It's actually super warm here during the day. Our time is kind of coming to a close here, you know. Worried about the salt, don't want to stay too long. We've been wondering what are these random circular patches? Something in Star Wars where that huge worm is gonna come out of the ground and eat the van. <laughs> it's blindingly white out here. It's like rock hard. All most of the sand is just rock hard. So what made this circus? But in general, the patterns in the salt, there's a lot of hexagons. Let's see how Emily's cooking's doing. Hey, hey, hey. How's that cooking? Delicious. You smell that? This is so good. Wow. Oh, it looks like two creatures came out of those holes. I'm a little worried about their eyes. It's so bright. So they haven't been outside a ton. Oh, Grummy. Is it bright? What do you think, little boy? Finish it off with the salt from the salt flats. <laughs> That looks so good. Thanks, babe. Wow, that is so good. That is delicious, babe. You had to try this. <laughs> it just amazes me that four years into the marriage, we're here in Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I could time travel back to our wedding day or the day after and say, by the way, in four years, you're going to be in Bolivia. I would be <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> really glad that we're such a good team that we've been able to make it so far and mm -hmm. through so many difficulties with the van with you know all the border crossings we've been through a lot in these four years and and making it all the way to Bolivia just feels like wow would have been nice to know I probably wouldn't have stressed out so much about all those things on the way <laughs> <laughs> Because whenever we started this trip, we thought we're going to hang out in the U.S., see everything we want to see, all the cool things. You know, it just kept getting better and better, and we figured we have to go south, <laughs> especially when we didn't make this van to do that. <laughs> Here's to four years, and who knows where we'll be in four more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is the best soup I've ever had. <laughs> this is the best spot I've ever had soup. <laughs> It does taste like restaurant quality soup. I am very impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah, good job. edges of the salt flats are the most unstable parts, which means our last portion of the drive is the most exciting. <laughs> but Emily's doing a great job. Yeah. We're having to kind of go around some crazy puddles and whatnot. Gotta do what you gotta do. All done with the salt. And something kind of cool about the Salar is there's these huge trucks here extracting salt, processing it for lithium. Some of the highest concentration of lithium in the world in this salt. Back at the car wash, car wash, yeah. Unfortunately, an engine light just came on, so I'm checking the OBD2 reader. So it's connected, diagnostic codes. Reverse gear, incorrect ratio. It's a new thing. Oh, mm. oh my god. It was feeling weird whenever we reversed it, but I thought it was because of the salt flat. 
Oh my gosh, we were stuck for a half a second, but we're okay now. That is weird. What is it doing? And we weren't stuck right there. Uh, There's not that much salt underneath, but yeah, we got just a plethora of new engine codes. One was the oil pressure sensor, which went away last time. Intermediate shaft speed sensor range performance problem. And the other one also seems the transmission. Reverse gear, incorrect ratio. <laughs> so yeah, something's going on in the transmission, which is not the best problem to have. Wow, so our reverse is not working at all now. Maybe it wasn't worth it driving on there. We're gonna measure the transmission fluid level. Well, I mean, we just need a change. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like there's plenty of it. It's just bad. Yeah, because it should be red. I don't know, is that red? No, that's like black. Maybe on the red side, but black. So we just put some transmission fluid in to try and get it back to a nice red color. I guess we clear the code and... I mean, I doubt we're gonna be able to go in reverse after this anyway. It's not quite the anniversary we hoped for. It was really nice until this. It was so great. But so, we can't have nice things. <laughs> this is the life we chose. You know, it's tough at times. We're not arguing, and that's very good on the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to park up here in town, hit a couple mechanics in the morning. Rob recommended one. You know our buddy with that huge man truck. Check out his van tour. I think it might be is that the poles, like the actual mechanical piece has worn down inside of the transmission only for the reverse gear which would mean we could drive all the way to Santiago Chile as long as we don't reverse in fact we could never fix it as long as we don't <laughs> reverse ever again that well, was funny so Rita already has a harness so we're gonna put the tow rope I'll push from the front but you know what we've already cooked two awesome meals today so and we're upset apparently there's a really good pizzeria right over here and it even said they had vegan cheese, so... Oh my uh, gosh, if they really do, <laughs> this is gonna be saving the night. It's a pretty ugly town here. Yeah, this town uh, is super ugly. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. Let's see what we think of this pizza. I haven't honestly looked. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, that helps a little bit. And we'll see you guys in the morning to let you know how this mechanic go. Wish us even more luck than you ever have before. Please. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time to figure out what we're going to do without reverse. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. And if you'd like to support us some more, head over to our Patreon. See ya.